We grow many of our crops vertically on trellises, and now that the garden is really about to start taking off, it's time to start setting them up. But what do we do with all of those trellises over the winter? Today I'll show you how we store 12 large trellises, plus a number of long garden stakes in a very small area of the garden. And I'll set up four of our trellises to grow sugar snap peas. Last fall when our summer crops were done for this season, we stored all of our trellises right here along the fence. We have 10 metal trellises made with EMT electrical conduit frames and concrete remesh grids. Behind them we have two wood lattice trellises, one we use for our sunchokes and one we grow pole beans on in the front yard garden. We've also stored several pieces of rebar which we use to support our metal trellises as well as many electrical conduit pipes that we use as stakes to support single stemmed indeterminate tomatoes. All of these items are attached to our fence with a number of bungee cords. I chose this location because there's little foot traffic. The trellises won't cast unwanted shade here and I know this fence post is set in concrete which ensures the fence is strong enough to support the trellises. We're growing a lot of sugar snap peas this year and I'm going to need four trellises to support them all. So let's go ahead and remove the top four trellises and I'll leave the rest in place. Okay, the front four are no longer attached on that side. Now let's detach them on the other side and I'll leave everything else in place. All right, one, two, three, four. That leaves us having to reattach this one. And now let's move the four trellises over to where the peas are. Bit of a tight squeeze over here. Okay, this is a good spot. And I need eight pieces of rebar to support the trellises. We have long pieces and short pieces. I'll be using the short ones for the peas because they're not very heavy. And I'll save the longer ones for heavy crops like winter squash. There's my eight pipes. Okay, now that I have my eight pieces of rebar, I'm ready to set up the trellises for our peas. These trellises are not only easy to store and take up very little space, they're also lightweight, easy to install, and they support heavy crops like pumpkins and winter squash. To set up the trellises, all I have to do is mark where I'll be placing them. I normally put them in the beds, but this bed is already very crowded, so I'm going to set up the trellis on the outside of the bed. And again, all I want to do is mark where the legs of the trellis will go in the soil, and that's where I'll drive in the rebar. Okay, now that I know where the trellis is going, I can drive the rebar in. I'll drive them in about halfway, nice and straight. And now let's slide the trellis over the rebar. Okay, get the first side. The second side. Okay. Now I'll set up the other three trellises. Okay, I've installed all four trellises for our sugar snap peas, and ordinarily they'd start climbing the trellis on their own, using their tendrils to grip onto the grid. But they've already started clinging to the neighboring plants, so I just need to gently coax them away from those plants and towards the trellis.
Okay, our sugar snap peas now have more than enough room to grow. They'll continue to grow here until July when they'll be pretty much done for the year. And though I haven't planned my succession planting yet, I'll be planting something here fairly soon to take their place. Something that climbs, obviously, like pole beans or maybe Malabar spinach. And at the end of the growing season, I'll simply remove the trellises and rebar and store them back along the fence where they take up very little space. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more videos on how to grow a lot of food on a little land without spending much or working harder than you have to.